Hi folks, Jason Webster here. Welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Hey, today we're going to talk about one of the one of the risks associated from early planted soybeans, and that's frost damage. We're going to talk about some of the frost damage that, that we had happen to us here at the PTI farm this past spring. Now, why did we have frost? Because I have been an advocate for planting soybeans early. And why? Look at the data on the graph. We've seen some really nice yield increases uh, from planting soybeans early. We've talked about this in previous episodes of Inside PTI. My highest yields on this PTI research farm of soybeans have been in March, first half April, and last half April. But then look what happens after I get past you know, May 1st my soybean yields plummet and so this is why we've been saying oh gosh we want to we want to get in a little earlier plant these beans early and take advantage of some of the yield that could be associated from doing this now i know there's risk involved with planting early especially in march and that's going to be frost and i will admit this year you know we we snuck in we planted on march 30th okay we finally were able to get conditions fit and go in and plant that uh, last day of march and we were out there, we did it. The problem is those, the, the beans sat in the ground, they finally come up, and what do we reward them with for coming up out of the ground? Three frost events. So the, th the frost events that were in the forecast, you know, we were, some of them were getting down to near 27 degrees, and we knew that was going to be a struggle. The first frost event, you know, was just about 30 degrees, nipped them. I don't think it, ki it was gonna kill them, but then when we come back in and frost them again at 20, 27, 28 degrees, that was pretty painful and that, that was death for a lot of our soybeans. We had a third frost that, that happened as well, just a nipping frost, but these beans had been through a lot and consequently we suffered a lot of death loss. Here's what the beans looked like once we got the frost. We knew right away that these beans were, were nipped and, and um, th this was going to be uh, severe consequences. Now, I wanna show you, I wanna show you something. I wanna take you to the field. I wanna take you to our soybean planting date study. Now look at the red flags in the middle of the screen. Look at everything on top of those red flags, or which is north of the red flags. You'll see a pretty good stand of soybeans right there. You can row them. They look pretty, pretty good from this picture anyway. But look at every, on everything below that line of red flags, or south of the red flags. You can tell that's a pretty sporadic stand. There's not a whole lot of soybeans there. What this is, is this is the result of frost damage on the south half of this plot, south of the, the bottom side of the flags. And then we protected those, those beans at the top and didn't allow them to get frosted. I'll show you how we did that here in a minute. But look at this, pretty, you know, pretty severe differences in this, in this photo. Let's go to some video. Let's take you inside the plot. We're gonna zoom in here a little bit and show you the, the frost damage, what we've got left out in the field after the three frost events. We've got our tape measure on the ground. We're doing stand counts. Sometimes we find zero plants per acre, but a lot of the time we're about 30 to 40,000 plants per acre. We originally planted this at 130,000 and where the video ended here, you can definitely tell we don't have enough beans left here to, to have a, a decent stand of soybeans. So this is uh, a pretty easy replant scenario. However, look on the north side of these flags, the north half of the plot, look at these soybeans. Again, 30 inch rows in strip tilt. We'll talk about that more here in a minute, but 130,000 stands, those look pretty good. Now, why in the world did these soybeans make it through the frost where the south half of the plot got nipped pretty hard, got froze off? Why in the world are we seeing these differences? Well, here's the deal. So when, when you turn the news on at night, nine o'clock or 10 o'clock news, and the weatherman is forecasting frost, a lot of times they'll say, hey, we got a frost coming tonight. You might want to cover your sensitive plants. Well, we had the frost events in the forecast and they told me to cover them. And so I did that. I went out and I covered my soybean plants. How did I do it? We brought tarps in. We've done this in the past. We've got these large tarps that we'll lay down. It's kind of like a ball diamond when they're calling for rain. They'll tarp the field so it doesn't get wet. We tarp the field so we don't get frost. We, we protect the, the soybeans underneath this tarp. We keep the heat in. We don't let that cold uh, temperature get in and we protect these soybeans. And where this blue tarp is at is the north half of the soybean planting date uh, trial where we protected these beans and we got them through. Now, I know this isn't realistic and some people are gonna say, Jason, you're just cheating. I know, but 
I planted these soybeans on March 30th and I kind of wanted to see what they would have made yield wise. So this is why we're protecting them. We want to see the differences in frost damage to no frost damage. And we really, really want to make some evaluations in the field. That's why we're doing this. But I'll tell you, it worked. It protected these soybeans and we're going to be able to take these things to yield and see what the differences are. So today's inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is we know frost is a risk when we're looking at early planted soybeans. However, if I get the opportunity to plant beans early, I'm going to do it. I know I suffered some frost damage this year, but I still think the reward is, is, is out there for me. That carrot's out there dangling for me. We've shown yield data up to 15 bushel, you know, getting away from that typical May, that first week of May planting date, trying to get into either the last of March or into April. We've seen some really nice yield increases. If you do plant early and you have some frost damage out in the field, be patient with recovery time. We need to determine final death loss from frost and it's gonna take a little bit of time to get these soybeans, you know, kind of to be fig you know, figuring it out whether they're actually dead or not to get final stands. In general, beans are pretty resilient and are generally pretty tough, but you gotta give them some time to see if they're gonna come out of it. I mentioned tillage before. Remember the video I showed you where um, beautiful beans, you can tell they're in strip till, you know, think about when you plant beans early, what can you do to protect yourself against frost? One of the things that we do to protect ourselves is we implement strip till. This way we have that nice wide black strip that'll warm the soils up and it will protect us of a nipping frost. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode of Inside PTI. If you've got any questions about anything we've talked about, shoot me an email at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanning. Dot com. I'd love to hear for, from you, hear your comments, and try to answer any questions that you might have. Also, stop in to your local Precision Planning Premier dealer and have a conversation with them about this topic as well. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode. We will see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. Thanks so much for watching.